what's up my fellow devs and welcome back to the dev shop so today video two we're going to talk about uh some common functions that you can use in lua with lumberyard well just lua in general the lua version that lumberyard runs on is 5.1 so all of the functions that you can use in lua 5.1 you can pretty much use in lumberyard if you have a reason to use it so i'm going to probably go over like two or three and then i'll put a link in the description of where you can find all the functions that you may need and if they suit your you know your game or your project then you know where to find it we'll also probably go over like creating if statements and how we do that so as you can see here i have a empty blank canvas i'll probably populate this one day just so to give you guys something to look at <laughs> and maybe i'll release it to you guys to, to play around in i don't know but let's open up the little editor I'm going to full screen it this time because I don't need the inspector. Same basic function from the previous video. So the most common uh, function and or classes that you're going to use are going to be provided by Lumberyard. So if you go over here to classes, you're going to have all these here that you can call on and use in the say the debug function, which uh, allows you to have its assert, error, log, warning, so so forth and so on. This is the lumberyard types, and you can also have what Lua 5.1 allows you to do with that language itself. So if I was to say debug dot log, which is something you're going to probably use very often, and say uh, this is a lumberyard project. Ah, can't spell. Uh, let's close that off. Hit save and it's in, an, in our own activate so if I bring up the console which is the tilde key let me clear this if I hit play you get this is a lumberyard project down there exit out of that now let's say we wanted to do some type of addition and you know math or whatever uh, give you guys a simple example. Let's say I wanted to create a Well, since we're in on activate, I'm going to create a local variable because I don't need to go outside of that. So I'm going to go local I'm going to say age Equals 10 If you're coming from something like C sharp or the like You're probably using something like age plus equals 5 but in Lumberyard, that won't work. As soon as I hit save, uh, the asset processor is going to throw me error. Yeah. If I open that up, it's going to give me this, which says the equal sign expected near plus. Yeah. I know what it's trying to say, but it's not very clear if you don't know why it's doing that. So in Lua, what we have to do is say age equals age plus five <laughs> if you're coming from those other languages which allow the plus equals that's shorthand for this so let's hit save and now you see it goes away so if i was to run net well actually what i need to do is do that and if i need to put here put age let's see what happens when i do that condition failed so now there's another common uh, function or class that you, we were going to use that's actually from Lua itself and where debug.log prints out strings and we have a variable that is holding a number so we need to convert that number to a string so that the debug the debug.log recognizes it so another one we have is called to string, which we're gonna wrap that up into quote, uh, quotes, sorry, uh, parentheses. Hit save. Now that should run for us. There we go, 15, which is since we set our age at 10 and we added it five to it, that's the correct number. All right, so that's math and all that stuff and using the debug.log and the two string. 
So what I'm going to do here is uh, actually one thing that I should show you guys how to do is how to comment. So to comment out a line, we have two dashes in front of it. So I'll put that there. Put that there. We have that. All right, so let's look at if statements. So let's say if I do if age is less than 18, we're going to use a then, which is how the if and then works inside of Lua. End it with an end to close off our conditional, and we're going to put our logic inside of here. I'm just going to write a debug dot log, and we're going to say. Uh, you are under age. Hit that. And if I go to the debug log, or the console rather, hit play, I get a you are under age. It also works if you get rid of the parentheses. This works as well. So that's our if statement. Another common function that you can use that is directly from Lua and I will put down in the description another link for you guys to check out more Lua functions that actually provides like snippets and how you would use it so another one I'm going to look at here which can be coming handy for like survival games and things like that and I'm going to actually check the time and we can do like a clock we can do uh, check the date so this is part of the OS class. So if we go to OS dot date, that is going to give us our date today. So I need to wrap that inside of a debug dot log. So let's go debug dot log OS date. And it's already going to be in string format, so I don't have to actually do a two string. Close that off. Hit save. Go to play and it says March 9th and gives me the time and everything 2019 pretty cool you can also use something like os.clock which gives you the time since you started using Lua or the engine so this since it's numbers is going to require us to use two string so I'm gonna wrap that into some parentheses it's save clear hit play and now we have 4146 I want to say seconds since I opened up the engine to do these videos that's just to give you guys a taste of the common functions and classes that are allowed inside of Lumbiard and Lua there are a buttload uh, that you can see on the website or both websites rather and if you guys want deeper explanation on how to do certain things definitely check that out I just want to give you guys an idea that Lua is pretty powerful in what you can do with it. There's even functions that allow you to execute shell commands for Windows. For whatever reason you need to do that in the game, that would come in handy as well. So yeah, if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, let me know down below. I am constantly trying to improve my videos. So if you have any suggestions, let me know. If you have any tutorial suggestions, let me know. Other than that, Hope you guys are having a very dope day. Hope you guys are prospering in your projects. And until next time, keep developing.